Hey everybody, it's Mike Marson again, and I'm back at my little dry erase board here. Um, let's talk about getting audio from Unity Connect into Unity Intercom. I've mentioned in previous videos that Unity Connect is really, really powerful in the sense that you can have your Unity Intercom life all set up in a stable location in your office or wherever, your home, your, your, in, a, in a rack room um, at the TV station potentially and all the port forwarding and everything's done, internet's great, and then you can send another Mac into the field to get remote audio from whatever events going on. Um, it could even be another, uh, you know, it could be a sister TV station, something like that. Send Unity Connect out running on that particular laptop Mac or Mac Mini, this is a little Mac Mini picture, running Unity Connect. So then what you do is, so we have our Unity Intercom computer here, we're also going to install Connect on the same computer. Then we have, let's say we've got some local audio. Maybe I've got um, 12 channels of Dante coming in from some event that I'm attending. We're bringing that audio in, capture it via Dante virtual sound card. Now, if it wasn't Dante and it was just regular audio feeds coming in off a soundboard, I would have a USB or Thunderbolt I.O. device that I would attach to via USB or Thunderbolt. Bring it into the Mac. However we get the audio into the Mac, Unity Connect can send up to 64 streams of that audio across the internet, anywhere in the world, and it's up to 64, to my Unity Connect here. So we have local event audio going into another Mac computer via Unity Connect. We send that audio to this Connect at our office location. Now, Unity Connect doesn't directly write to Unity Intercom. So what we do is we need an aggregate audio device, which is a software virtual audio device. The one we like to use is Loopback. This is gonna get messy. Loopback by Rogue Amoeba creates a virtual audio device like that. That virtual audio device could be like a 32 by, by 32 or a 64 by 64. And we take Unity Connect and we output Connect to Loopback. And then we take Unity Intercom and we input from Loopback. So Connect is writing to Loopback and then Unity Intercom is, is taking from Loopback, thus marrying the two. I realize this looks awful, but essentially all this is is audio coming from the event or, or from whatever being sent over via Connect to another Connect, writing to Loopback. Loopback is then acts like a, like a Loopback is like an IO device, only it's a software. And we are going to read from that software from Unity Intercom. This is also how we would take Unity Intercom's audio and we would route out of a party line channel to loopback. Connect would read from loopback and Connect can also send back to another Connect. So don't look at the mess, but this is not bad at all. This, this is kind of how you do that. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.